Welcome everybody to the DC New 52 Review. I want to thank you for tuning into my channel. I'm your host, Pauly DC, and let's get right into this thing. In each episode, I'll break down and review a collection edition graphic novel from DC's New 52 revamp. Now, since this is my pilot video, I feel like it's appropriate to save this. The entire event as a whole was extremely massive and very audacious. It was filled with risks and uh, reintroductions of varying degree, but in my opinion, I think it was a great way to keep long-term fans intrigued while also bringing in some brand new ones and like myself, ones who just wanted to return to DC Comics. Now, what you think of the entire event as a whole is completely up to you and I'd be very interested to hear about some thoughts and opinions in the comments. Alright, what is the new 52 exactly? Well, without taking up 10 minutes of your time, let me give it to you simply. In the year 2011, DC Comics used a huge crossover event known as Flashpoint to reintroduce their entire canon of characters into an entirely new multiverse. Dun, dun, dun. <coughs> anyway, in August of that same year, a Justice League number one with an icon, the new 52, was released. And in the ensuing months, another 51 titles began to hit comic book shelves, and thus, it all began. So there, now you know. And if you want a deeper explanation, then there are plenty of other places with a lot more information that you can find. Right now, let's talk about something that's a little more important. Like, where can you start? Where you do ultimately choose to start is completely your choice. Justice League would be the most logical option, but there are plenty of other places you can. Action Comics. Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Justice League Dark, which is another personal favorite of mine, Batman number 21, just trust me, and there are tons of sources out there that can help you pinpoint the exact reading order of every series. Comic Vine is a personal favorite of mine, and they'll help you read everything from crossover events to spin-offs. I've decided to start off in the Batman family, and after certain opening titles are covered just to lay the groundwork for this series, I really hope that the viewers of these videos will interact with our social media platforms, voting, and suggesting on which titles they would like to hear next. If you've made it this far into the video, I want to thank you personally, and to please like, share, and subscribe, and join us next time for Detective Comics Volume 1.